Good afternoon and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Go Back to Night of the Raven. I'm your host, I'm Kaushmar, and today is the final episode. Well, at least for Jartandar. In this episode, we will enter the Temple of Adonis. We'll go through it, go through all the traps and kick Raven's butt so he doesn't do any anything stupid anymore. Well, so here we are, in front of the gate from the Temple of Adonis. So we only need to... Say the magic words. No, no, it's too far away. Jahedra Akantar. And the gates will open. Well, welcome to the Temple of Adonis. I am not sure if I should call it famous or infamous because ah, it, the temple, is, this place is actually kind of yeah. It is, I actually like it, but the puzzles are kind of iffy, I have to say. It is a little bit hard, sometimes puzzles are kind of cryptic apart, some puzzles are not even puzzles at all, but oh well. Here we are. Here's the, we already are confronted with the first puzzle. Might as well read up on it. Like I said, uh, like Sadara said, uh, you can solve the puzzles with the help of the, of the stone tablets we've collected. The yellow one will tell us. I, who was against the decision of the three, built the first trap. And only I know the correct doorway, which is the tablet from the scholars. You can also realize, uh, see that it's a scholar one because he writes in the first per person. and doesn't mention any any names. But, well, this doesn't really help at all. The, w the one which actually helps to solve the puzzle is the red one. Because it says... We, the last three leaders of the Council of Five, have provided the chambers of the temple with traps and bit hidden, hidden the entrance, so the sword will never see the light, never see again the light of day. So, well, how the hell does that help you? Well, if you take a look, a closer look at the trap, we have, well, spikes, and different symbols: three people, a storm cloud, a sun, or maybe a saw blade, a key, and spikes. Now over here we have, well, simply a key, so that doesn't really help us at all. So if you go through the text again, if I put it up again, we the last three leaders of the Council of Five, so the three, and read it again, have provided the chambers of the temple with traps. That is those. And the last one, if you read it again. The entrance so and hidden the entrance so the sword will never see the light of day, meaning the sun. And there we go. First puzzle solved. And if you can't uh, think, uh, if you don't know what happens, if you press the wrong button, then just take a look up above. Because if you press one of the wrong buttons, you will become, well, Swiss cheese. And, yeah, this temple really likes sparks. If you wouldn't know it, you would think Adonis is not the god, uh, Adonis' element is not water, but instead it's spikes, because spikes are fucking everywhere in this place. It's kind of ridiculous. But okay, welcome to the second chamber. And the second puzzle. We have... Five different doorways and some stone sentinels I first need to clear out, I think. Yeah, I'll quickly do that. Okay, the room is clear. Now we can actually finally get to the puzzle itself. When I'm finished uh, picking up random stuff. Okay, like I said, we have five doorways. Each doorway corresponds to one of the casts. We can see each face looks slightly different, either the eyes or the length of the nose. So, which doorway is now the right one? If we take a look at the... Uh, take a look at the blue stone tablet, which is uh, the one from the priests, if I can find it. I think, is it the blue one? Yes, it is the blue one. Cardimon devised the second trap, and only he who follows the way of the light up to the end will reach the third chamber. Well, this puzzle is kinda iffy. I still do not know the act exact um, exact uh, solution to the puzzle because if you would think oh no the stone tablet uh, 
You would think the easiest way is just to say, well, you take the stone tablet, uh, you take the doorway corresponding to the face on the stone tablet, which would be, uh, I think that one all the way to the left. No? Which one is it? It should be that one, which would be that way, but this is actually the wrong way. Now I actually thought, well, maybe it is the doorway where actually where light is coming from. So I took a look at the different doorways. This one is completely dark, so this can't be it. This one, which actually first thought could be it, actually does have light. So you would think this is the right doorway, but it isn't. This one also has a light source at the end. This one also has a light source at the end. And this one as well. So the only way I actually figured out which doorway is the right one, which is a really silly way, is if you take a look at this one. This doorway has is the only doorway which actually has an item behind there. You can see there's a dark mushroom. All other doorways have no items whatsoever in them. Obviously because if you would go that down that doorway you will never return, that's why there are no items. This doorway is actually the one, let me actually see, I think it's one of the warriors, right? It does look like the one of the warriors, let's see. The warrior one, actually, triangular eyes and then no, a uh, nose until this end of the cheeks. Let me see, is there any other one? But this one actually looks kind of the same. Where's the nose slightly longer? I think it's slightly longer. longer. It's actually kind of iffy puzzle because I think this nose is not as long as the other one. Yeah, this one stops before those two uh, cheek edges and I think the other one is a little bit longer. Yeah, this one is longer. And I think... Ah, is this one long? It's really hard to say. It's really hard to see. Because this one is, is not it. This one... Oh, is it this one? Oh, maybe that is, and only I know the correct doorway. Maybe that's the that's the hint because I think that stone tablet is corresponds to the doorway. So because he is the only one who knows the correct doorway, uh, you have to follow him. It is really fucking. It's really fucking iffy that trap. If anyone has another theory, please let me know because I couldn't figure it out. Then again, if you play this game the first time, you will know. You will you will just go trial and error, figure out, uh, try out every single uh, place, and if you as soon as you know it, you will know it for every other playthrough because it's actually pretty easy to memorize. It's just one all the way to the right. So there's really no point in going further into it because instead of like studying the whole time, you would rather just go trial and error on this shit. Oh yeah, in case you take the wrong uh, wrong. Wrong pathway you will hear the clicking of doom, I like to call it, because behind you will start to start spikes to well, jump out of the out of the ground and will slowly but suddenly come towards you and impale you. Fun times for the whole family. Okay, the next chamber. This is actually a, I would say a pretty fun room. Because it has an interesting puzzle in it. And you can see this floor right here is pitch dark. This is actually one of the rare uh, places where actually light makes a, uh, makes a factor. Also, the green one tablet will tell us more about the trap. The third trap was built by Quahodron, and only he knows how to open the portal. Well, don't really know what... It's actually no description whatsoever to this. It could be that this one is actually the second trap. It could actually be, because pa light path of the way, but... I don't know, like I said, it's kind of iffy. Maybe I'm just over. Like I said, I'm probably just anyway overthinking it, this whole business, but okay. Now, if we take a torch, we can see that. Um, we can see that these tiles have different colors. This one is a little bit darker, and those two are a little bit. well, greenish, more greenish. This one is a little bit more browner. So, you have to follow the brown path in order to survive going through here, because. I can actually show you that in a minute. See? And I'm safe. But if I would go to a green tile, I'll just uh, slightly inch along and jump over it. You can see it's a trap door, which would lead to 
painful impalement on spikes, and this is actually pretty fucking ridiculous. Just look at this shit. There are not only spikes on the bottom, maybe I can actually drop the torch down there. I want to drop the torch down there, so I can actually get some vision. See, come here. There. You can see there are not only spikes on the sides, there's also spikes, no, spikes on the bottom, there are also spikes on the sides, which makes no sense whatsoever. There is no reason to have spikes on the side. It would actually save somebody if he would fall down there, because he would land on the side of the spikes and maybe be able to climb out again. I don't know, they just hilariously overcompensated with that trap. Oh, you builders. But okay, let's jump back. Okay. Also, as a final dick move, you have to go for this f between those pillars. Because between the two other pillars, well, there are retractable spikes again and you'll get instantly impaled as soon as you attempt to go through there. It's not really hinted at, but you can actually guess it by because that whole last row is uh, solid ground, so you can actually guess that, well, you have to go through the last pillar. Still, it's kind of a dick move. I won't lie. But okay, now we've got cleared through all three traps, so there's only one thing to see be besides Raymond. I was also Quahodron who sealed the outer gate of the temple with the help of Cardiman. Neither of them survived the ritual, only I remain reigned to tell the tale. I hope that Redeem is a rots for eternity in the temple. This is actually the tablet of the Guardian of the Dead, but since they didn't exist, uh, since they were, since they died, or were exiled, or whatever, uh, that this was actually written by the scholar one, by the scholar one, because it's again written in the first person. And look at that, who's lying here, who's walking around here. That has to be yes, Redamus. Wait a minute. My spirit has been held captive for eternity. At last, I am free. The sword has a new bearer. The final chamber has been opened. But the gate appears closed. This is not the gate to the final chamber. This gate merely leads to the antechamber. The bearer has closed it behind him. Well, that doesn't that doesn't sound like good news. The sword has a new bearer. How do I open the gate? Move one of the levers. Anyone? All of these levers open the gate. Well, that does sound... that sounds simple enough. Not all of the levers trigger the trap, right? Yes, they do. I don't believe you. Yet I speak only the truth. Your father built the trap. How would you know how it works? Hohodron, I can still hear the pounding of the hammers on the other side of the gate. After so long a time, the sword showed me revenge for my failure. You mean, you have seen which lever is the right one? I have long forgotten it. Come on, there's like nothing to do in this place. That's like one thing you could do in your spare time, remember which lever is the right one. Jesus. Try to remember. It was so long ago. Mother of mercy, that are a lot of spikes. Well, I guess that's how Raven made it. He had a guinea pig that tried, pulled the lever for him. And he also has some stuff for me, thank you. Okay, you know, before I do something stupid, you can actually also do it without Redeemus. If I talk to him, just make sure you stand on the stone uh, stone plate, because if he pulls the lever and you're still uh, on the spikes, you will get instantly impaled. But, as Redeemus has actually showcased it, this lever right here is safe. You can pull it without any problems, without getting impaled. You can even actually pull this lever, even though it's partially already in the spikes, but somehow the hero doesn't care. I guess shitty hitboxes, but okay. Bye bye, Redeemus. Have fun. Actually, I also like how Redeemus actually. You actually heard him, him moaning and getting hit by the spikes because, well. Uh, since he is, well, a ghost. Well, as a ghost, you shouldn't actually get hit by that to begin with, but okay. 
Okay, we are in the antechamber, and the antechamber is full of stone sentinels. Gah. You're not really... You don't really need to kill them, but the problem is, uh, they will... You can actually just walk up to the door, but the door will open rather slowly, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So, instead, I'll just decide to kill them all. And since I can't do that, since I can't do that, I have to become something else. A fire lizard, for example. So, time to burn up some stone sentinels. Ah, Shadow Beast was a bit, was a bit more efficient, but damn. Yeah. Doesn't matter, they don't take any afterburn damage, that's the problem, but... It's just for... just for killing them. And, yeah, before we actually go to the Temple of Animals, I forgot about that. You should actually make sure that you killed all stone sentinels you want to kill, because... As soon as you kill Raven, owns all stone stone sentinels will be automatically destroyed. So everything you haven't killed yet will be gone, and you will get no experience for them anymore. There we go. That room looks much more clearer. So, quickly switch to it. My decent weapon. Oh, I can actually top off my mana as well. Quickly uh, get through everything if there's anything useful, but the stone sentinels are douchebags and don't have Nothing anything for me. There. So tough to kill and yet such douchebags that don't give me anything. There. But I think I've seen some dark mushrooms or at least some other loot. Potions. I can use those. And wow, someone somebody got Nothing actually pretty far. There. There was a skeleton right there. Ah, oh, there are dark mushrooms. I want my potential mana. Pity, that guy made it so far, but, well, still died to the stone sentinels. But, yep. Open sesame. Let's see, this one is... I don't want to bother anymore. These faces are just so similar, it's really hard to distinguish them. So, I don't bother anymore. But, well... What can possibly lie before us other than... Yep, you see him there in the distance. That is Raven. We are at the end of our journey. The final fight is right before us, and I'm actually going to quickly... <laughs> pick up some dark mushrooms before I confront Raven. The problem with Raven is... I would actually love to have like a legitimate fight with him, but the problem is I'm such a weak melee. That it's, funny enough, it's actually not even technically possible possible for me to beat him. Or well, it is. It would be, but it would just completely be, be completely tedious, but I'll show you why. Because first I try to legitimately fight him. Hey, you! That's a good start. <sighs> Look who has come. My master warned me that Innos would send his henchmen. But I had not expected that you would appear so soon. Well, since you were so quick, <laughs> I shall give you a quick death. You are the one who is going to die. <laughs> you are no threat to me. I bear Beliar's sword. I shall lead the dragons to the mainland. Together we will plunge the world of men into the deepest darkness. You sold your soul to Beliar. For a good price. I will command his armies as a general. And what about you? Do you know how much your soul is worth? I'm only doing what has to be done. <laughs> Listen to him. You have sent me a humble servant in us. <laughs> are you sure that I am a servant of Enos? What? What are you saying? Don't you consider it possible that I could be a servant of Adenos? <laughs> Nonsense. Maybe I also serve Beliar. Or only myself. Well, in that case, you are not even a worthy opponent for me. I've had it. Let us begin. Are you in such a hurry to die? Well, since you insist. And here it is. 
the final fight against Draven. Plus the, the fight I will lose anyway. Because the problem with the Sword of Billiard is his special treat is if you hit Raven, there is a I don't know if it's like a proc or a percentage chance. I think when his sword is like charged, like with uh, gone with a lightning. If you actually hit him, well then you'll actually get the uh, electric field like that. So my problem is, no, it's actually not. It's I think it's random now if if you get electric field or not. As you can see, it's basically for me impossible because I take so much damage from the lightning that it's. It's basically impossible for me to actually kill him. And again, it could be that uh, the lightning is just a... Yep, there we go. No chance! So, sadly I have to buy, uh, kill him in a, well, non-legit way. So, the only way to actually beat him, well, not legitimately, or... Like I said, I can only beat him non-legitimately, non but at least if I beat him I can make it s as silly as possible. So, for that I need this, and... Where is it? There. Okay. Good, everything I need. Hey! I already had that. I've had it. Are you in such? Well, let the silliness commence. Shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna rip you to pieces. What? Hey, that's not how it works. You're supposed to run fear away from me. Okay, let's try it again. What in the world? Raven, stop it. That's how the Great Raven died. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's a pathetic way to end. Oh. Where are the Raven? Oh, okay, I can still loot him. Well, they are in possession of the Claw of Beliar now, and Raven is, well, completely invisible now. I've actually had it once that uh, I killed Raven, and the problem was that he glitched through the wall and I couldn't loot him anymore, rendering the game well not unvinable, but I didn't have the claw of Beliar, which kind of sucked. Well, okay, since we have the claw of Beliar now I might as well take it for a spin. Okay, fine, nod. Screw you too. But okay. That is the end of Raven and the end basically with Dartnor. The only thing left is well to get our to, well, collect our, our, well, spoils of victory from Sadoras, and I think we can also talk to Greg about it. And, well, time to go back to the bandit camp, I think. Is there anything of interest in here? Nope. So, let's just teleport back. For us, I've did it. I did it. Raven is finished. That means you've given Beliara a swift kick. 
Then you'll be moving on. My job in this valley is done. I could use a few days rest. <laughs> yeah, you're constantly on the move, aren't you? Have a good journey. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again. Who knows? There will be lots of gates and passages for you to go through. And you're bound to find me on one of them. And yes, we will find you in Gothic 3 in the passageway of... I don't know how that city was named again. Well, you know what, I got first go to the pirate camp and... Uh, there's actually also another quest I need to finish. Let's see... The swamp? No, not swamp. Where is it? Valley? Oh yeah, I need to go to the canyon. But yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't have made this a uh, fight a little bit more, well, epic, but it's basically impossible for me to fight him in regular melee. Then again, I've made, if I can't do the, the one extreme of making it extremely epic, quote unquote, then I'll just go ahead and make it extremely silly. And this is actually the best way you can do that. <laughs> oh, silly raven. You died, well, in a silly way. I'm currently rambling complete bullshit. Okay, one thing I need to do is, uh, Bill. Hey! We've killed Juan, the murderer of Angus and Hank, so I might as well tell him that. I know who murdered Angus and Hank. Who? Who did it? His name is Juan. He's one of the bandits. You've got to do that bastard in, do you hear me? He must not get away with this. Juan is history. And? Did he suffer? Come off it, kid. Oh well, just as long as you killed the swine. But okay, now to the actual spoils. Let's see what uh, Greg has to say about my victory. The bandits have found a gold mine. I knew it. That's why they came here. Nobody would volunteer to live in this monster-ridden bog. Good work. Here, I've got something for you. Oh, Ring. But what about Dad? So much for Raven. Well, I'll be. That's unexpected. Caught him with his pants down, did you? That's certainly worth 500 gold pieces to me. You're quite the daredevil. Carry on like that. Well, not really with his pants down, but with the sword of billiards stuck in his ass. Well, at least that's what the fear animation looked like. Well... So much for that. The only thing to, left to do is report to Satyrus and then we are done with Jartendor. We will... Well, then again, the only reason to return here is to either collect some more spawns, kill some more monsters, and I think in Chapter 5 there are... There will be some monsters that respawn here, so if you really want to grind some more experience, you can return here in Chapter 5 and kill some more, uh, some more innocent uh, things, but... i actually take a look at my quest log. Where's my log? There we go. No, all those other quests are par are in Corinus. The only thing left in the Claw of Billy are... Well, yeah, I have that now. And Raven is dead, so that quest is kind of obsolete. So the only thing left is to talk with Satyrus about my successful mission, and well... Then we are done with Chartendon. We return to our good old problems in Corinus. Oh, Swamp Weed. I'll take that. That meaning, Seekers, the, uh, the, what is it, the, the Amulet of Innos, the Eye of Innos, there we go. And the whole dragon business. Oh, I will miss Jartendor. Such a peaceful place. With ancient monsters that try to murder me, but I murdered them first. Okay, Satyrus, look what I've got for you. The earthquakes have stopped, and as I can see, you're still among the living. Does this mean that your mission was successful? Yes, Raven is dead. Then it is over. Thank Adonos. You have done well, my son. We're deep in your debt. You have snatched a powerful weapon away from evil and restored the balance in this part of the world. When the earthquakes died away, we discussed what should happen now, and we have reached a conclusion. Go and take the Claw of Beliar. May it be yours to bear from now on. In your hand, it may prove a mighty ally for us. Use it wisely, my son. May Adonos help you. We shall remain here and see to it that the temple is restored to its old brilliance. Only Mixar is already on his way to Corinus to support Vatras. 
Vatras has been alone in the city for too long. Yeah, thank Adonis. Thank Adonis for being devoted to a temple that is full of impaling spikes. I have taken the Claw of Beliar, but I am unable to wear it. The Claw of Beliar is a very special weapon. It has its own will and consciousness. You, who now possess this mighty weapon, are its lord and master. It is a part of you and will adapt itself to your capabilities. However, it will not do that of its own free will. Only Beliar himself can force it to obey you. What can I do with the weapon? That lies in your hands. You've conquered the weapon, and you are now its master. I can only recommend to you what you can do with it. Either you give it to me, and I shall see to it that it can do no further harm, or you put its power to use and wield it in battle. Couldn't you keep the weapon safe? If you give it to me, then I shall render it harmless so that it can no longer be misused. So consider well what you will do. And why should Belia help me? Only a prayer to Beliar can achieve that. But be careful. Beliar is malicious. If you arouse his wrath, then he'll let you feel it. I see. Oh yeah, if you take the, give him the claw. So we have two options now. We can give Satyrus the claw of Biliar and he will destroy it. And he, I think by destroying it, he just puts it on the bottom of the sea, which is a really retarded idea. Uh, and you will gain 5,000 experience for it. But if you keep it, we can actually use it. Now, as a mage, you would probably think, well, that thing is completely useless for us. But, like Sadra said, the sword will adjust itself to our capabilities. Meaning, not only that if you are one-handed, it will stay a one-handed weapon. If you are two-handed, it will go be a two-handed weapon. But, if you are a mage, you will actually be able to make runes out of the Claw of Beliar. So, I will actually keep that thing. What will you do now? We shall stay here and help the temple regain its former glory. All too long have its walls been in this lamentable condition. As far as you are concerned, my son, I am glad to see that I was not mistaken about you. You are the preserver of the balance. There is no longer any doubt about that. Without your courage and strength, the island of Corinus would have drowned. We thank you and will honor you in our thoughts. Devote yourself now to the other tasks that lie before you and return this world to balance and peace. Now go and fulfill your destiny, Preserver. Our prayers will be with you. Thank you, thank May you. May Adonos protect you. So, this is officially the end of Jartanar. We've did everything we can do in this place, quest-wise, and well, okay, I still haven't killed that troll, but fuck that troll. We will kill that troll sooner or later anyways. So, well, the only question that lies uh, before us is... What will we do with the Claw of Biliar? You know, I'm actually curious about you guys. What did you always do with the Claw of Biliar? Because when I played as a mage, I... Oh. Hello, Crumbly Crumbly. Oh yeah, those guys actually, uh, actually crumbled because, well, I haven't killed those guys. And since the wave was there, they actually got killed. That's the wrong side. What? Okay. What are those? Oh, we can't. I can't read that. Okay, I got distracted again. Well, like I said, question is, what did you guys always do with the Claw of Biliar? I personally, as a mage, I always kept it because the runes you can extract from it are really, really powerful and I like them. As a fighter, I never actually used the Claw of Biliar. I always gave it to Satyrus for some odd reasons. The one thing that actually that is actually great about the Claw of Biliar is that suppose that you can always upgrade it. Uh, you can constantly upgrade it, so it will never become weak, but for some odd reason, I never really liked the weapon. I do not know why, I do not know how, and, well, maybe it was just a giant mistake of me. But okay, well, so much to that question, I will hopefully uh, get a couple of answers to it, because I'm actually really curious about it. But, well, until then, we'll see us back in Corinus. Just we got rid of... Au revoir.